course, I'm scared. I mean, every time and every night you go out, you don't know whether you're going to be coming back home. Every night it's getting worse. security forces are reacting brutally. They're hitting the protesters, they're killing them, they're killing these kids. Everything started from Castro Hospital in Tehran. At first, it was sadness and sympathy and shock and disbelief of what happened to this girl. But as the morality was again attacked to young women and young girls, right where Master died, all these feelings gave way to anger. <laughs> They don't treat women with respect at all. They usually drag you and carry you. And if you show resistance, they show physical force and they hit you. در واقع موضوع اینه که گشت ارشاد در واقع نماد بیرونی فشار جمهوری اسلامی بر زن هاست. آه، بخور، بخور. بیشارا! After Mahsa's funeral in her hometown, Saqqiz turned into a nationwide demonstration. All of the cities in Iran are now joining the protests. <laughs> there are all kinds of people now in the streets. در تهران هر گونه تجمع گرده همایی به ذات خطرناکی این خطر با وجود اینکه واقعا بعضی وقت آدم خیلی دچار ترس میشه در یه لحظاتی ولی اون کنار هم بودن انقدر جالبه بنقا هدف چیز ارزشمندیه که در بیشتر مواقع ترس رو به کنار میزنه It is true that the first protests were against the hijab, but now the target is the supreme leader and his dictatorial system. To demanding the end of the revolution and dictatorship, I think they're done with the government. It began just after midday when a few hundred demonstrators began to throw a chain of burning barricades across streets throughout the city center. During the first revolution in Iran when Shah regimes was overtaken by the Ayatollahs, the Shah's pictures were brought down and burned as a sign of people not being happy with his government. And I think this mirrors that. واقعا داره یک حرکت بزرگی رو شکل میده هم نشونه خشم هم نشونه کینه است هم نشونه میل به رهایی از وضعیتی که ما قبلا توش بودیم 
it's not humane what's going on here. So, of course, I think it's us versus the government. People are sick and tired of their living standards, and it's not only because of Masa Amini being killed by the security forces, but it's about everything. What else has to happen to these people to just understand, meaning government, to just pack and leave? و الان من فکر می‌کنم که اتفاقی که برای مهسا امینی افتاد تا حد بسیار زیادی ما رو برگردون به اینکه یادمون بیاد که ما یک ملتیم فارغ از اینکه چه جنسیتی داریم و چه قومیتی داریم و این خیلی کمک کرد به اینکه این اتحاد شکل بگیره و ما برای آزادی این بار داریم تلاش می‌کنیم I'm Michael Learmonth, editor-in-chief of Vice News. Too often, traditional news outlets shy away from the real stories and experiences of those living through global conflicts, not Vice News. Our reporters are on the ground, fearlessly covering the human stories that shape our world. You and millions of others can continue to read, watch, and listen to Vice News for free. But we hope you'll consider making a one-time or ongoing contribution of any size at vice.com slash contribute. Every contribution, no matter how big or small, helps support the journalism Vice News brings to you every day. Thank you.